Alright, what is up you guys, and welcome of course to, well, you know, Dogus, um, UBL Season 4, Week 5 versus Orlando Magic Ops and our opponent Choice Specs, and this has been a very interesting match to prep for, as um, if you look at my team builder, I wasn't sure to bring either, um, just gonna wish him good luck, have fun really, um, I wasn't sure whether or not I bring Scrafty or um, Quillfish. Well, I decided for Scrafty, and yeah, this looks the part. Um, really glad not to see Lord of um, but Arc9, Common, Clefable, all of them are frets though. Um, I do assume he'll lead off with the Polargeist, um, so I'm going to lead off with Scrafty really. Um, and basically, all I want to do is try to get myself into a footing where I can do something about that. Uh, like, I want to spam <laughs> Icicle Crash with uh, Darmanitan somehow. We'll see how that goes. Just gonna spread for a paper here, and uh, then we start off. I'm a bit on the late side, but I usually am. Uh, no surprise there. Um, Let's see, 26 seconds left. Do you remember which team it was? We had Dredno, we had Pelipper, Kamo, um, and then we had Arcanine, and Polter, and we had. Uh, seems like I'm missing somebody. Clefable, right? How hard can it be? And my opponent, you know, as always, good luck, have fun. This is a really good opponent. Um, he had a bit of a rough time versus our last week's opponent, um, Johnny. But overall, I think Choice Picks have been performing so well that um, I, I cannot fear him. I do believe he leads up with Arcanine. What a absolute mad lad. Uh, right, Erasure is going to get the Intimidate off, which is going to be great. He's going to get off his own Intimidate, which is also going to be great for him, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, um, that said though, um, our easy switch here is, after all, Jellicent, and uh, we'll see what he do. Um, he has close combat, Flare Blitz makes sense, Will-O-Wisp makes sense. If I were him, I'd probably Will-O-Wisp, because I showcase I'm Intimidate, so he can burn me. I won't deny it though, like this is, it's not a tough matchup, it's just, I know I'll lose it, because if there's Morning Sun and stuff like that, I can't do anything about it. And I don't want to send right Perrier blindly here, even though it absolutely checks it. Right, he switched out himself, goes to Cliff Abel. Good. Now I find out whether or not I'm faster, because we have Taunt after all, and uh, Taunt is mainly here to deal with Cliff Abel. That is a fun faster. I want to know if I must be faster. I am invested some speed here. He has to invest a lot more to be speedier. Though he has fair switches to it. Um, combo, for example, easy setup. I don't see a timer, however. So that'd be worrisome. Right? And we see Cosmic Power. Great. So it's a stored power variant, possibly. So that doesn't bother us at all. And we are faster. Gonna turn off Discord for the time being. Right, it stays in at least. So let's see what he decides to do. Like I said, store power makes sense. Moon blast possibly makes sense, right? Yeah, there is moon blast, and it does. All right, it's not all that bad. We easily get a hex off here. I could go for another burn, I guess. But you no, know, he stays in. Um. I mean, this is a losing match if he decides to, you know, keep on at it. 
Then again, he forced me to recover here. We see left doors. Good. He shook off the taunt. Gonna recover anyway. <laughs> I think he's gonna try to get some momentum. No, he stays in actually. Cosmic power again? Or stealth rocks. Move last, cool. We don't mind that. Though that special attack decrease should happen. I really think so. That taunt again, I think he's gonna try to take this chance to switch out. I would. Cosmic Moonblast. I like the idea of Moonblast or Cosmic Power. I think that definitely does do strain me a little bit extra. So let's see. He does stay in at least. Um, <clears throat> I think it was the right play though. Um, I'll probably try the same actually, as you know, he's a bit of a spot here. I'm really worried about not having that chest timer. I wonder how many minutes my opponent here set up to. I really hope he didn't set for 10 minutes, like he did the maximum amount of time of 30 minutes. And I really just, if that's the case, I need to find a footing real fast. Pretty sure we have him range here if I want to. Ooh, and that was a crit. We don't like those. At least he didn't shoot off the taunt. We're gonna recover again. Um, he should take this opportunity to switch out, I think. At least I have Clefabling range now for possible Specs Thunder. It's so obvious I need to recover, so it's so unfortunate. Oh, he does stay in at least. Don't know why. Keeps on Moonblasting. This time the taunt really stays. I say that as it goes away. Um, I lose nothing by hexing him here. Because I think it's gonna go for another Moonblast or try to hurt me. Yeah, he went for a Moonblast, cool. And uh, the thing is here, do I wanna take him out? I kinda do. And have the possibility to do. But at the same time, he's not a threat. So I taunt here. In case it would predict. This is a weird situation. <laughs> like I said, you can get a massive amount of momentum if I allow him. Recover here. Because I don't want to let the poltergeist come in for free now, do I? Because with a special attack decrease, I'm kind of in a rough spot. Like, he should consider poltergeist every time. If Poltergeist comes in, I need to hex it. Right, it still stays in. I'm so surprised it does that, but fine. <laughs> he 
If we get another special attack decrease, I'm actually forced to switch out. Yeah, there we go. I did not want to see that. Just gonna keep Moonblasting. This is the worst, isn't it? I mean, I really won't do any much damage now. Yeah, I won't. I really don't like doing this, but I have to. Uh, because at this point, I'm just losing all kinds of momentum. There's Moonblast, and it should do or at least close to half HP here. Oh, wow. A lot more than that, really. But yeah, he's in Thunder Range, that's good. So we're just gonna do that. Because I think he's gonna try to recover here. At least I would try to, or actually switch out. As I'm really surprised it didn't bring uh, um, any Pokemon that. Um, oh, what do you say? I was really surprised to bring a Pokemon that um, could take a thunder. Like he, like a ground type, and that's always kind of interesting. But yeah, let's get Cliff Cliff Able out of the way. Definitely should die to this. Um, Galventula kill. So yeah, yes. <laughs> I'm still kind of worried. Poltergeist is tough. Combo, get a free kind of setup here. We don't like that. Don't like combo. It's great. But, yeah. <laughs> well, let's see what he decides to do. Yeah, there it is. Um, and it's really shiny. So what I'm going to do now is... Ring, Skulls, believe. Because whether or not he has... Um, like, I'm sashed anyway, but um, if he goes for Substitute, that's going to be annoying. Dragon Dance. Alright, cool. I'm not worried about that. Which he will find out now why I'm not. Just a dragon dancing combo. Cool. Now, had it been Mental Herb, that would have been nasty. So, what I'm gonna do now is a U turn. I've seen a reason not to U turn. As I think um, Arcanine comes in. There we go. Nice. Um, so I think that's heavy duty boots, right? It's gotta be. And this time we're bringing Rhyperior. I guess two ways of dealing with me here, but uh, if it has a Will O Wisp, so be it. At least getting myself fully powered here. Kind of sure Rock Blaster though, thinking about it. Yeah, that was dumb. There were no reason not to go for Rock Blast. But I, like, I'm playing it like we have a timer. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, switch it out. Don't Pelipper. You son of a... Well, we got one good thing going here. And that is a Passive Berry, which you easily take. A hydro pump. 
So with that said, that is what we're gonna do. As I believe him to um, go for a U-turn here. As uh, it would be really risky going for um, a surf with a Jellicent active. We'll see what happens. Or Hurricane. Hurricane would be real nasty. I really regret that I didn't just go for obvious rock blast. That is, you know, that's on me. Knockoff. Okay. That's cool. Come on, free hits. Oh, that did nothing though. Only got two. Okay. Now he got me. <laughs> what do I do now? Um, knockoff was kind of um, that was kind of mean, if you ask me. Yeah, bring an extra producer. I think it's gonna serve on me. Um, if he U turns, that's really cool of him. <laughs> Skull, there we go. Nice. Um, and now we will wisp. I think he's gonna go for a knockoff. Or he U um, turns and. Uh, Actually, if I were him, I'd probably hurricane, but you know, you know, the risk of losing Pelipper is kind of risky, right? Um, and hard switch to Dreadnought would be really tough. If we did that, then, you know, cool. Uh, we're faster, first of all. So we get that off. This guy's his residuals. There's a knockoff. We're gonna take that with ease. Uh, with that said, though, like Dreadnought is still like really tough on us, but I think we I don't agree with the knockoff play, even though it actually is a good utility play. I mean, how many rain turns do I want to waste? What item is he? You know, all those kind of questions. But I rock blasted. Ooh. It would have been so tough. Like, I kick myself for that. I'm really making those fast plays, even though I really don't need them. But we start to build down his team. I just need Arcanine a bit lower. And possibly Selfrox on the field would be nice. <laughs> but I don't think that's gonna happen now. If I were really brave, I'd go for a second Will Wisp. Um, because, yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, so go to Poltergeist. Let's see. Yeah, that, that, that did alright. Um, but versus Poltergeist, I have no other option but to bring uh, my Scrafty. And now I possibly know Scrafty could be faster than Pelipper also. It's unlikely, but it could. Um, but yeah, I need to switch out. If he goes for Shell Smash, that's going to be really great for him. I should be able to at least soak one hit. Yeah, I'm going to go for Giga Ring. That's not going to fly with me, buddy. So... Yeah, I kind of have to crunch, don't I? He's absolutely gonna switch out though. Question is to what, but yeah, Crunch is a play. I think Fable comes in, I need to follow up a Poison Jab, which is gonna be awesome. Arcanine. Okay, did not expect that actually. Right, let's see what happens. Crunch does. Ooh. 
hate to see it. Special defense decrease. That said, I don't want to take the extra damage though. Um, I want to get myself in the spot, but Dark Knight got a pretty good chunk there. I want to go for another hit, but really, why would I? It's kind of scary. Um, he should be faster, so I think it went for close combat. Yeah, there we go. And it's not gonna kill. And what I'm gonna do now is... I don't really need to go for self rocks anymore, don't I? I need to focus on this guy. Because I think I'm gonna sack Pelipper. I go for Rock Blast anyway. Um, right, another close combat. He sacks it. Did not expect that. That said, you know, I can always miss. I don't want to miss, but that's a possibility. There we go. Nice. Rock Knight gone. And I think the follow up play here is uh, Pelipper. I want to kind of save right here if I get the chance, right? It's a good sack play. Wasting his rain turns. But at this point, we. Like Dreadnought, probably the only thing I think is kind of rough to deal with. There's no likelihood of me bringing up rocks, are very, very, very slim right now. Or very slim bear. It's very unlikely that would happen. So maybe sacking is probably the better choice overall. Right, combo. Um, We don't hate, we don't like this guy at all. I'll go for that earthquake. Um, I think it's gonna dragon dance or poison jab. On it, fair enough. Right, right, period. Die by combo. A warrior's death. Right, let's go to Skulls, and I'm gonna just go for the Moonblast. I mean, it is a one-hit KO, but I think his play here is gonna be Pelipper. So it does switch out to Pelipper, and that's sacked. Pelipper dies to Whimsy card. And then his follow up play should be. Like I said, Dreadnought makes a ton of sense here. And I really just want damage on Dreadnought. Because due to Prankster, I should be able to um, to get one hit, and um, after that, Tailwind, and see if Galarian and their mana tank can wrap up. It was to be really nasty, which I'm not, or I won't succeed in doing, <laughs> I should say. Um, but that would definitely have been... Um, what would you say? Um... I like it, but I would. Oh, he didn't do what I thought I was gonna do. Never mind. Right, um, that was what I was expecting. We did not have a timer. Ah. Uh. Oh, alright. Um, theoretically, I guess I won, but 
as a fight for you if so yeah shit uh all right i did want to leave this game with a few afterthoughts as we did shadow a little bit afterwards you know what could possibly happen we do take a win here at 5-3 but i want to level what could possibly have happened and knowing a bit of his sets and recently sent him poltergeist i would not have been able to keep sash on my whimsy card uh more likely um I would have gone for Moonblast and would max to 48%. He would have survived going for Shadow Wall, breaking my Sash. And uh, from this point, I most likely would have gone for KO. His play from there would have been going for Dreadnought. Dreadnought would have had at least three turns of rain. And the way I see it, my only play from there would have been sending Scrafty to get the Intimidate off, take a hit. If he goes for a Liquidation, which would feel likely, but if it did that, that would be do around 50%. Uh, <clears throat> and then I would switch out to Galvantula, sacking that Pokemon, switching back Scrafty, and uh, now that should be the last turn of rain, and Intimidate should do a good chunk, and um, Liquidation from there on would not have been able to take me out, I would have gone for Low Sweep, rain is over, and uh, I would have most likely gone for Low Sweep till I killed him, I don't believe he wins the matchup with minus two, uh, and if it did, that would have meant that Yellison would come in if like, get a crit or whatnot. So basically, Poltergeist falls, Dreadnought falls, potentially Scrafty falls. And depending on what's happened from there, I either versus Kamo keeps going for low sweep so he can't get something out of his Dragon Dance, or if he successfully KO my Scrafty and uh, I am forced to send in Yellison, Yellison would have been able to get that KO on uh, Dreadnought due to its minus two. And uh, his switching should have been, <clears throat> or should be, Kamo as his last Pokemon. That Pokemon I would have taunted. He would have gotten a Dragon Dance up, no matter what. Uh, but the taunt is plenty here, and I would just come from Willowis, follow that up. He most likely forced to kill me, which should put me in a spot where I can bring in my Galventula safe, or not my Galventula, my Wimps got safely to, um, as he's taunted, <laughs> set up a Tailwind. Um, so that's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, asking my daughter is just besides me just looking at the picture um, <laughs> but anyway what I'm trying to get at here is that you know we still have factors you know in mind that if he scores a crit or whatnot he could shift momentum but I'm still in a spot where I could passively uh, ignore his aggressions but whether or not I would have been bigger than the 2-0 it all depends on the roles but quite frankly I think we're in a spot where I would have won anyway Barring hacks, barring absolute hacks, him having a more special defensive poltergeist to be able to push me back is phenomenal and definitely would have been a much, much more interesting game due to it because then I wouldn't have to think on my feet. Those crafty would obviously be the play versus Dreadnought. But besides that, like, this would have been one of those things where I took for granted I could set off Whimsy Card and go for Tailwind and wrap up. That was absolutely not the case. The game had at least five 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 ten turns left and um, it feels a bit of a cop-out not getting those turns left and even if i lost here I, it still would have been really sad not to see those forces play out so <clears throat> a bit disappointed we didn't have a timer um or we didn't have a chest time what 20 minutes uh, after following this up and uh, it just sucks like it was a great opportunity for us to showcase what we was about to do i recognized it five minutes in the game um, I should have cancelled, I know that, I realized that, but I for one really thought I could beat him before 20 minutes was kicking in, but he absolutely was shaking me so well and I couldn't get any offensive momentum. Choice Specs here plays this game really well and yeah, I mean, I only have defensive responses to keep him away from me, but I never got offensive momentum myself. That, that takes skill to pull that off and... Um, to choice specs really gg and as always for guys who haven't been watching his side of the battle make sure to do just that as i do think he actually had a few really good ideas that didn't pan out to do to the timer and that sucks so badly i wish him all the best in the season we are both in the running for playoff i do believe i am in second place right now which is cool um but there are so many that are at my score at three two i just have a better differential so next game that i'm gonna play might as well push me back out of playoff so We'll see what happens. But with that said, as always, really, guys, thank you for watching and have a great day. Check out Choice Specs, and I'll see you next game. Until then, of course, as always, take care. Bye.